Hey, I'm Nishant and I'm your host. So back in March, um, we started working on this idea to improve the lecture experience for international students. Um, we realized that international students had trouble understanding the lecturer and um, we could change this by having subtitles in the class. So as the lecturer is speaking, you would get subtitles in the classroom. So imagine um, Google Transcribe, but in the classroom, and that's exactly what it was. And a few weeks back, um, I started working on this idea on um, the same problem on my own. So I wanted to tackle the same issue, but rather than working on it with my previous co-founders, I decided to work on my own. And um, after that, I, you know, I got kind of a fresh perspective and I realized that the problem is much bigger than that. It's, it's not just um, that the lectures um, or the international students are not able to f understand the lectures. So once you get um, students with English as their second language um, to the same level as students with English as the first language. Um, that is to say, everyone starts understanding the lecture 100% clearly. There's a bigger issue. There's this problem that the lectures are boring or many of them find the lectures boring. So I, I surveyed like 133 students and out of them, only eight students, that's like 6%, thought that the lectures were not boring at all. So which means that 94% of students found the lectures boring and in fact 30% of them, they always found the lectures boring. So this is a bigger issue. Once we solve the problem for international students, there would be this issue that the lectures are boring. right? And the thing about lectures is that they have been the same for hundreds of years. So I'm not the first person to talk about this. Like there have been several people. I just like Googled and I found this guy, Drawer Benham from UNSW. Um, he's not at UNSW anymore. He has his own startup. But this guy talked about the same problem that lectures are getting outdated. So we have been working on the same problem or we have been working with the same system for hundreds of years, probably thousands. Um, and we need to change that now because online learning platforms are catching up. You have courses from LinkedIn, um, you have courses from IBM, you have courses from Udemy, uh, Skillshare, and there are professionals who teach these courses. These online platforms, they provide so much more than the lectures in the universities. Like I get to pause, I get to fast forward, I get to rewind, I get to read the subtitles, I get to see the project files, I get to, you, you get my point, right? There's so much more that is being offered through this these online platforms than, um, than the lectures at the university. Now the universities need to provide students with an experience that cannot be easily translated into an online learning experience that you cannot find in an online course. So you cannot have lectures or you can have lectures in a different manner, probably. I want to change the way educational content is being delivered to the students. And it's, it's not through lectures. Maybe we can have lectures 2.0 or something, but definitely not the way it's happening right now thanks for watching this sort of rant slash ideas slash i don't know what video well this is one of my first videos and i'll probably be working on something similar in the future i suppose yeah thanks